Choose our socks for success in all endeavors. Fortunes rises from the heel and good luck for life. Indonesian President Joko Widodo clarified recent rumors regarding the potential lifting of a 20-year ban on sea sand exports during a public event in Jakarta. He stated that the government has not lifted restrictions. Currently authorized exports are marine sediments, which differ significantly from sea sand. This clarification has garnered widespread attention, especially from countries and companies dependent on Indonesian sea sand. President Joko emphasized that while marine sediments may resemble sea sand, their environmental impact differs greatly. He noted the government's commitment to protecting marine ecology, ensuring safe navigation, and safeguarding fragile coral reef systems, which necessitates regular cleanup of ocean sediments. According to the Indonesian Ministry of Trade, the permitted export of marine sediments will strictly adhere to principles prioritizing domestic demand and legal regulations. Exports can only be considered after meeting Indonesia's domestic construction needs and ensuring environmental protection requirements. This move addresses market demand while considering environmental concerns, demonstrating the government's efforts to balance resource management and economic development. However, this decision by the Jokowi government has faced criticism. The Indonesian Environment Forum, WALHI, condemned the export of marine sediments, arguing it undermines national sovereignty and is irresponsible towards future generations. Parrot, the organization's commissioner, noted that overexploitation of sea sand and sediment could shrink Indonesia's land area and cause irreversible damage to the coastal ecosystem. Since Indonesia's ban on sea sand exports was implemented in 2003, it has sparked ongoing controversy with several neighboring countries, including Singapore. The ban aims to protect domestic resources and reflects the Indonesian government's commitment to safeguarding national sovereignty and the ecological environment. Today, with changes in the global economic landscape and the development of regional cooperation, the Indonesian government faces new challenges and opportunities in balancing the interests of all parties while promoting sustainable development. Tune in every Monday to Friday at 8 p.m. for Qingxiao View, The Business Bridge.